New York officially calls hot dogs and burritos sandwiches. In France, a sandwich is called un sandwich. In Spain, it's un sandwich. Things get weird in Portugal where it's called sandwich. Even in Greece, the word is dot and it turns out that sounds a whole lot like sandwich. But just because inserting meat between two slices of bread is a near universal concept, that doesn't mean it's free from the machinations of the New York Department of Taxation and Finance. In order to help businesses determine what they should and shouldn't put a sales tax on, in 2011 the state posted a bulletin recently uncovered on Reddit that gets technical in its definition of what our friends in Japan call a, again, sounds just like sandwich. Here's what should be included in New York's so-called sandwich tax, according to the state. Sandwiches include cold and hot sandwiches of every kind that are prepared and ready to be eaten, whether made on bread, on bagels, on rolls, in pitas, in wraps, or otherwise, and regardless of the filling or number of layers. A sandwich can be as simple as a buttered bagel or roll, or as elaborate as a six-foot, toasted submarine sandwich. The bulletin goes on to list examples of what exactly a sandwich is. In case you didn't know. The items below are all sandwiches, by defining these bread-based snacks, the New York Department of Taxation and Finance defends it's just trying to help. It's trying to stress the point that all sandwiches are generally subject to sales tax, that's the message you want to get across, Carrie Zeiter, a spokesperson for the Department of Tax and Finance, told Gothamist in response to the new attention the bulletins received. In summation, if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it's probably a sandwich.